welcome to or welcome back to Numerous Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today, you guys, we're going to be doing my weekly budget. I know I've been gone for a minute. I'm trying to get back on track. We had birthday shenanigans. We had budget box shenanigans, like everything. Um, so pretty much the week of my birthday, um, I knew I was going to be off that Saturday. So I'm just doing a little small recap. Instead of making the 1100 that I projected, I made $730, but it was okay. Um, I got a lot of birthday gifts, cards, money, like I didn't miss a beat. And then I said that I'd get 100 in North Cove. I ended up making 872, but you can see I got an error going over here. That is because 600 of it was on this week and like 200 there. But I just still did the math here. Seems like everything got paid over here. I didn't put into my one month ahead, but I always kind of add to my high yield savings. So I did do that. I didn't get to do my 52 week challenge. Um, that was that. I just wrote down some purchases I made for the budget box just to remind me. And I got my missions done, thankfully. And then I bought items for the budget box and paid some budget box bills. Um, over here on the 24th, I think I just, GoDaddy did come out. It might have came out this week. Not sure. All the afterpays got paid. Didn't pay. This was last week. Didn't pay my car insurance. Going to pay that. Um, booth rent got paid. Um, I didn't have to pay hubby that made up for the week of my birthday that got paid and this actually i think came out on the first so it moved kind of to this week um everything else got paid oh and let's look at a total i had down a thousand and then here it's gonna actually be about mm, 700 oh no this is right 600 Wait a minute, i'm doing something wrong okay the week of the Lord, let me get it together. The week ending of the 30th. Yeah, I made $1,225. That was last week. And so we're doing good there. Like I said, this ended up being like $600. I don't know why I got seven there. I probably was thinking about this week. So let's hop into this week. Um, as usual, I sometimes forget to say it, but you can find these inserts on my um, Shopify, and they are digital. Sorry about that for those who like things printed, but I'm working on getting these things printed. We're already working on our 2024s, so yeah. So I'm just putting in my sources of income, and then normally miscellaneous here. It has been leftover money, um, so I had about 200 left over from last week. I didn't really more than that, but I didn't do any cash stuffing, so that's just the visual of that. So here, I'm going to guess about 1100 uh, Norris Cove, I'm guesstimating 7 because I already know kind of what I got going on there. And so let's do some math. Also, you guys, I can finally use my calculator. <laughs> I use it off camera before the budget box, and this was in our April budget box. Um, we do have a few of these left, so you can check that also out on the website. So let's do some totaling. So that leaves us with $2,000. Let's put that here. Okay, so now let's look at the bills due for this week. Um, it is the first of the month. Um, I decided I'm not going to do the whole monthly thing because I like to kind of sit down, take my time, and think of things that I can't do. And I'm also practicing color coding. So once I get the hang of that, then I'll be sharing that. So on the first, we had Amazon. Um, the second, we had cloth and paper. And Amazon was, I think, $15.89. I think it's $47.99. I'll just put $99 for cloth and paper. Also, on the second, we have Victoria's Secrets. I went ahead and paid them off at $65.83. And then we had Community. 
Yo, I'm sorry if the camera is shaking. I just cannot control this thing. Probably need to tighten it up. Um, we gave them 30. And on the 4th, we have Walmart credit card. They're normally 28. I'll give them 30. And then on the 5th, we have credit one. This card was supposed to be a temporary card, and here I am. So I'm trying to give all the small cards 50 to kind of build them up. Also, pretty much I paid Capital One. Capital One is now where my cell phone bill is auto paid through. I just give them $50 a week. That is helping me to pay my car. I mean, excuse me, pay my cell phone bill, but also bring down that balance. And I paid that. That should come out tomorrow, which is the third. And that was $50. I gave my high yield savings over here. I'm just skipping over here, just kind of remembering everything that I paid. I gave them 20 this week because I didn't give them anything last week. Um, I'll probably still give them some more once I get some money from here, if there's anything left from that, because we got to pay some bills. We gotta, we're got to. we already working on June and July stuff. We have some June and July, but we need a little bit more, so... And I'm looking again for a graphic designer for some things. So um, we may have to take some of that. Oh, and we got to pay shipping out of that. Okay, that's another thing. Let me put that down. Shopify slash shipping. I got to give them $211. Um, what else? And then that's what I need to do is like a budget just for my business i'm gonna do that later um we're gonna try to work on one month ahead this week i need to give that at least 50 52 week challenge i i don't lost count y'all so we're gonna try to give them something at least 50. uh we gotta give hubby 50. i had him as a sinking fund but i think i'm gonna keep him as a bill just like paying rent so that's 50 dollars and I have booth rent. We got a lot of bills for us in the month here. $250. <sighs> and I gotta pay, I'm gonna put down here in the notes about State Farm. Because I'm gonna fit them in if there's something extra left. It's $507. Um, expenses, I purchased gas this week, 65. So I've just been doing gas digitally because it just works better for me than trying to sit it aside. I don't even, uh, I haven't used the Upside app in a while. So, um, because with the Upside app, I can't remember. Yeah, you got to use your card anyway. So, but I don't think they have the high test gas, the premium on there. Um, I will check it out again, but it's just been a while because it's just a hassle. Um, debt payments, we're doing basically the Capital One. Um, I should put that over here, but... I don't want to cross that out. So we'll just leave it here. Um, these are all the debts over here. So we'll just kind of skip that today. Okay. Let's do a little bit of totaling. So our total is $800.71. Good God almighty. Y'all, where is it? Somebody please tell me where it is. <clears throat> it says I'll have it, but. <laughs> and then here we basically know this is $120. And here, um, I need some products this week. Uh, let me put that down. Products. Oh, goodness. I just thought about it. Um, I probably spent about uh, 60 on products. And then supplies for the shop. Oh, we need a few things. Goodness gracious. <clears throat> I'm going to put 200 I'm going to probably spend more than this because I know something that I want for the June box is about 270 so uh, we'll work that out with our budget uh, this is like 325 but let's just add it up
Yep, 325. And then we got that, that, and then let's start. Um, I've been writing in remaining and just kind of moving around. Okay, then we'll go over here. So let's take our total 2,000. We're going to subtract the 871. That leaves us with $1,199.29. We're going to subtract the 325. $874.29. And then we're going to subtract the 120. That leaves us with $754.29. And then I told we can just fill this. I always do this kind of later. Um, that's one thing that'll be different on the 2024 inserts is this will be a little bigger. I don't know why I did that so small. But anyway, this will be a little bigger. Um, I hardly use it, but I know my total. So that leaves me with $754.29. That's pretty much what is left from Norris Cove, which is going to pretty much help me with some of this stuff. And also I have a loan through my um, Shopify, so they're going to take a little chunk of that. So it's not going to be exactly 700. So that works perfect. And we'll just do a review next week, you guys. Okay, so remember, if you want this calculator, we have tan and we have white and they are available on the website. Um, all that will be listed below. These should be listed in the comments section. I mean, I always say the comments section. In the description box. And so, yeah, that's this week's total, y'all. As y'all can see, things are getting a little better. Praise the Lord. But I have to do better with spending um, and just buying unnecessary stuff. But last week, I did take pretty much this money and just invest in machines because I needed some new machines. Um, next up, I'm going to be trying to get at least a machine a month for just a few months. And then I'm going to be working on new printers. Um, I, like I told y'all, I think in the last video, I've just been using these to pay sticky notes. Um, we got some 2024 to pay sticky notes coming. Uh, let's see. And then like yesterday, I've been using our spending trackers, daily spending trackers. Y'all, look at this. This is what I spent yesterday. I didn't even do a total because I didn't even want to know the total. But we also have these uh, daily spending trackers. These came in one of our sub boxes. I believe they were in March sub box. Phenomenal. Love them. So I love a good sticky note just to stick somewhere. And those work for me. So that is it for today, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If today was your first time watching any of our videos and you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.